Yo, you guys, this is Blacklist of the Abyss, and you're watching my review for Bleach Chapter 615. Okay, and um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I kind of just forgot about Bleach coming out this week. Not gonna lie, I kind of I just forgot it came out. Alright, that's why the review is just getting up now, because I didn't even realize the chapter came out until earlier today. Alright, uh, which, you know, usually I'm on top of my reviews. Like, usually if my reviews are late, it's because I I have a bunch of things going on, so I have to prioritize. You know, and, that, and that's just how it is, you know. Um, but rarely do I just forget that something came out. Alright, this is one of those rare times where I just don't... Because there's so little going on in Bleach right now, I just don't even, I just forget. You know, I just forgot about Bleach. That's all, that's all they really have to say. I just forgot about Bleach. You know, so every, you know, it happens to the best of us sometimes, you know, so everybody deserves a mug and every once in a while. Um, but the review's up now. That's all that matters. Alright, not really, but pretend. <laughs> um, so yeah, that I'll just get into the chapter. Um. It starts off uh, just re refreshing our memory of what it is a Spirit King does. Keeps the balance between Soul Society, Waco Mundo, the Don Guy slash Precipice World, and the World of the Living. Okay, and I would assume that there are earthquakes happening in all of those places. We only get to see the world of the, the earthquakes in the World of the Living and Wake and um, Soul Society. The world of the living, we see Karin and Yuzu reacting to it, and then in Soul Society, we see Kisuke and his whole group reacting to it. Okay, which, um, it's not often you get to see Kisuke Urahara legitimately surprised and shocked. Okay, so this was actually shocking for me, because so I'm like, whoa, Kisuke, like, I saw his eyes, like, hey, how big they were, I'm like, whoa, Kisuke, he's, he was legitimately caught off guard by this, wow. You know, it just doesn't happen often, you know? So that was cool to see. Um, but, I mean, that's all there really is to say about that, really. I mean, it was. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Um, one thing I do want to see, though, in the future is maybe showing um, what's going on in Waco Mundo and showing how, it's, how all of this is affecting Waco Mundo as well and take that as an opportunity as an opportunity to update us on Tia Harbell, you know, and the Tress Bestia, Mel, you know, because they, you know, the last time we saw Tia Harbell, she was freaking like in chains and crap, you know, like, I'd like to, you know, get an update there, you know, is she still in chains or what, you know, um, or wait, was she in Waco Mundo or was she in like the Quincy Shadow Realm? Yeah, I, I'm actually, I'm not really sure which one she was in. Well, anyway, I still want to get an update on Waco Mundo. I still want an update. Um, though, maybe show us Grim Jow finally, Jesus. Um, show us something, alright, in Waco Mundo. Also, the second thing I want to see come from this is Karin actually getting involved. Because Kubo's been building this girl up, you know, like... Talking about how during the time skip she gained the, the ability to see spirits, and now she, you know, she was visiting Kisuke or Ahara on a regular basis, and now we know that she's a Quincy, you know, so she's probably gonna be like Ichigo, be both a Soul Reaper and a Quincy. You know, I want he can't, he could, he, Kubo couldn't have wasted time building her up like that just to have her do absolutely nothing at all ever in the series. Other than that one scene in the very beginning with Chad, it's, 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 forget that. All right, now forget that. All right, now I, I mean, I want her to act to do some, like actually something, you know, like not. <laughs> I want her to do like something legitimate, not something that no one cares about. Okay, <laughs> from like hundreds and hundreds of chapters ago. Okay, now I want her to do something legitimate. All right, so uh, that that's the second thing I want to see come from this. All right, but anyway, moving on. Um, Ichigo's group, okay, um, Yuha kind of went into more detail here about how he got Ichigo to kill the Spirit King. I say kind of because he really didn't tell us anything new at all. He still kept it really vague to the point where you kind of just have to make assumptions and connect the dots yourself. Uh, he said that he gave his Ryatsu to Ichigo through the sword and that it reacted with his blood. 
in a way, I guess, <laughs> connecting the dots here, the Ryatsu reacted with Ichigo's blood in a way that controlled his body and forced him to kill the Spirit King. Which, you already know, I <laughs> what my opinion on that is, it didn't change. <laughs> it has not changed at all. Okay, um... Yeah, I, I still think that that's a load of crap. <laughs> I still think that's a load of crap. Um, but anyway, the one thing that I... There were actually a couple things that I didn't like here. One is that Orihime can't heal Spirit King. Okay, which... You know, Yuha said it's because she's human, but that's silly. Alright, now I don't really care about that. It's been said before that her powers are like transcend... Like, she has like the power of a god almost in terms of like regeneration, where even if the if the limb or whatever the body part has been separated, it can still be regenerated and it being like new, you know. So it's I, I don't really care. All right, about that about Yuha's reasoning for why this is the case. For me, it's just good enough to say that the that the spirit king is a unique life form and therefore. Her powers just don't work on him because he's just that unique. All right, I think that's enough because the Spirit King is just like, like, uh, like <laughs> there's so much mystery surrounding this dude that it doesn't surprise me that Orihime's powers don't work on him. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, so I'm I'm fine with that. All right, and uh, the other thing that I liked here is that Yuha says that the Spirit King was created created by the Soul Society to stabilize the world. Okay, so I'm interested in finding out just what the Spirit King is, how, how he was created, um, and I'm also interested in seeing uh, what the worlds were like before the Spirit King was there. Okay, because if there clearly the world existed before the Spirit King then. Alright. And they were the worlds were in some type of chaotic state, so I'm interested in finding out what state that was, especially the world of the living, since you know you would figure if the world was in some chaotic state, there would be some type of record of it, but there isn't, unless Soul Society got involved and like brainwashed people or just some crap like that, All right? But I, it's it, there's enough of a mystery there where I need to know what the world of the living was like before the Spirit King existed. What Waco Mundo was like, what the Soul Society was like, okay, that's stuff that I need to know. Um, but we may not end up being told because Ukitake at the end of this chapter, he's going to do something to try and stabilize things. So, um, I mean, clearly Ukitake has some secrets. I mean, he's been shown to have secrets before, like with uh, Ichigo and the spirit badge and all that, you know. He's been shown to have secrets before. Alright, I, 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 I... Like, nothing will surprise me at this point with Ukitake. Just like nothing will surprise me when it comes to... Um, Shunsui Kiraku and his Bankai. Alright, like, nothing will surprise me at this point when it comes to those two. Alright. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, that's that's really it for this chapter. Ukitake is going to do something, and that's the thing to look out for. Um, but also, something else to look out for is us learning about the state of the four worlds, including the Precipice world, before the creation of the Spirit King. And I guess that's a third thing to look out for, how, how the Spirit King was actually created. Uh, and by who. Alright, so, that is that. Um... Overall, I'll give the chapter 6 out of 10. It's, re re like, honestly, the best parts of this chapter were, like, that one line, <laughs> that one speech bubble <laughs> from Yuha at the end, talking about the Spirit King being created and all that. Okay, that was it. That and Ukitake at the very end. That And that was literally all this chapter was. I'm not going to give the chapter a good rating just because of, like, one line and then one panel. Okay, that's just not going to happen, right? So... If anything, I would have given the chapter below a 6 had it not been for that stuff. So this is actually a decent rating for a chapter like this. Alright, so, yeah, chapter gets a 6 out of 10, and that's that, you guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.